Hey guys, Jacob Fast Diesel Fuel Systems. Now the videos that you're about to watch cover a very important subject, that is our filtration versus some of our popular competition. But we thought it'd be a little more fun to have Jeremy, our national sales manager, compete against Brad, our founder and president. So the first video that you're gonna watch is discussing this very topic, but features Brad again, who's the founder and president, talking about fast filtration versus the competition. The second video is Jeremy, our national sales manager, taking a swing at the same video. So what we'd like you to do is watch both and then comment below as to whose video and explanation you prefer. On June 15th, 2021, we will pick one comment and send that person a box of fast gear, including a t-shirt, hats, stickers, and more. So we hope you enjoy these videos, get a lot of information out of both of them, and then comment below, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, thank you very much for the overwhelming success that we've had with the pre-filtered filters, uh, the box of filters here. And what's nice about it is you can put it in your side box on a semi and it doesn't beat the filters to hell, all right? But that's not why we're here today. I've switched my position on our recommending fuel filters over the, a few years ago. And people that ask me, they call up and say, well, why are your filters better than other people's? I said, I don't think they are. If you want to use a cat filter, use a cat filter. If you want to use a Baldwin filter, use a Baldwin. Use a Fleet Guard. I didn't think that any of them were, I didn't prefer any of them over the other, except for if you buy mine, I get to make some money. So capitalism. However, we did some massive testing and found out that the way that people were, are separating out water with a drain, a coalescing filter, was not working efficiently and effectively. So we went on a mad search and worked with designing with another company to make our filters to where they're taking out over 99% of the water. A lot of these filters, our competitor, is they're taking out about 66%. Now I said about because I don't have that number memorized in my head for this video, but it's around 66, 69%, okay? There's some of them out there that are worse, there's some of them that are better. But here's what we do, we have a pre-filter, and then we have the extreme water separator with no drain, all right? Because here's what the problem is. This drain is not capturing in the, the water, the coalesced water, in the emulsified water. The water, in a lot of cases, is passing right on through, so you drain out fuel. Some cases, you do get some water, okay? But what happens when these filters meet, reaches their maximum capacity of removing the water, it passes right on through right into your injection system. And I don't think in fuel injection systems were meant to inject water. And you can have runaway engines where they'll explode because we're gonna show what water does to an engine and the engineer that we was gonna work with could not put it in his dyno room because it may blow the dyno room up. That's what we have going on. So what happens with us, we save your fuel injection system. So if you get into a high quantities of water, which will pass right through here and ruin your fuel injection system and put you on the shoulder, Guess what? Well, we're gonna stop that water, and up to a certain point, we're gonna put you on the side of the road, just like they did. But here's the difference. Fuel injection system and a filter, you're gonna to have to repair there, so you're gonna to get towed in. Put a fuel filter on, and we saved your fuel injection system, period. This took quite a bit of developing to get this on our system, a lot of testing, a lot of learning, a lot of education, a lot of spent money on doing testing of other people's filters, even the ones that filter very well out there, once they reach their water capability, the maximum capacity, that water passes right on through, then it'll destroy your fuel injection system. This is insurance for fuel injection system, period. No one can beat us. Go to fastride.com, get your filters there. Have a blessed day. Jeremy here with Fast Fuel Systems. Just about every day we get questions from our customers. Why did we change our filters? Why don't you have a drain on your filters? And we've been fighting this battle for the last couple of years since we made that switch. So I wanted to spend just a little bit of time talking about why we made that change. So previously, our filters had drains on the bottom. And coincidentally, a lot of customers ask about running cat filters on our pumps. So I wanna actually address both while I'm at it. Our old filters, including this cat filter produced today that's a cross-reference listed for our pumps is actually a coalescing style filter. 
And what that means is as fuel travels through the element, water coalesces or builds up on the outside of that element, and then when the system is shut down, it can shed to the bottom where it can be drained off. The problem is, is that it is extremely important that the flow rating of the filter match the pump. And what we know is that as flow rates come up, the efficiency starts to drop with that coalescing style element. We knew that we could do it better. So we made a change and we went to a synthetic media and a water blocking filter. Our extreme water separator positively stops 99.96% of water. And that's whether it's in the short filter or our XL filter. The XL filter gives you about 44% more capacity and still gives you that 99.96% efficiency at removing water. We're also stopping particulates down to two micron absolute in a single pass. Our extreme water separator filter does things differently. This is not a coalescing style element. The extreme water separator positively stops 99.96% of water. It physically attracts, holds, and locks that water into the element. It does not shed to the bottom. Therefore, we didn't need a drain. No matter how long you let that filter set, overnight or what have you, the water's not gonna simply drain to the bottom. It's going to be blocked and locked into the element itself. One of the biggest advantages of going to extreme water separator technology that we use in our filters is that we no longer have to worry about efficiency dropping as the flow rates increase. We know that this element is four times more efficient than cellulose. So regardless of flow rates, whether you have a 100 or a 290 gallon per hour pump, we're gonna stop well over 99% of water. You know, quite often we get a lot of customers asking us about our cross-reference filters. Do you guys recommend uh, cat filters or Baldwin or what have you? A little note on that, we do have about 30 different cross-reference filters and we give you that list because we don't want you stranded, not able to get our filters and not be able to get back on the road. By the way, guys asking about cat filters. If you want to save a few bucks, just buy a Baldwin. You see the similarities? They're made by Baldwin. But if you want the best water separation, particulate removal, the best performing filter possible, run our filters. I appreciate your time today. You guys have a good one.